The next event on the program, the men's 800 metres, and it features the World Championship representative, Jeffrey Lisley. Nick Bromley going for four straight titles. Lachlan Renshaw has been in great form, and Leonard Cabet is the visitor from Kenya. So here is your lineup on the inside. In lane three, Toby Sutherland from ACT. In lane four from the New South Wales Institute of Sport, fastest man in Australia this season, Lachlan Renshaw. In five from Kenya, Leonard Cabet. In lane six from the New South Wales Institute, the defending champion, the three-time champion, Nick Bromley. Lane seven from Victoria, World Championships representative, Jeffrey Risley. In lane eight from New South Wales, a youngster, 17-year-old, James Kahn. In lane nine on the outside of the field, from Samoa, Anus Kareen, men's 800 metres. So Renshaw has been the main man this season. Most impressive in Melbourne, recording the World Championship A qualifying standard. Nick Bromley going for his fourth title. They're the ones to watch. Underway in the final of the men's 800 metres on the inside is Toby Sutherland, then Lachlan Renshaw, and the visitor from Kenya, Leonard Cabet has gone out hard on his outside, the three-time national champion, Nick Bromley, then Risley. He's the tallest runner in the field. On his outside, the youngster from New South Wales, James Kahn, and then Kareen from Samoa as they go down the back straight. And it's Kibet who leads. And a little bit of argy-bargy on the outside between Khan and Kareen through the first 200 metres, and the visitor from Kenya is setting a nice little pace here. He's a silver medalist in the African Junior Championships, a 145 man, and Lachlan Renshaw is going to follow him. He's in search of an A qualifier here, Renshaw. Kareen from Samara is next, then Khan, Bromley and Risley. They're at the back at the moment. So the three-time national champion, Nick Bromley, has got some work to do as they come down to the bell the first time. So Cabet it is who leads, and the pace is slow. It's not that fast. Renshaw in second, then Kareen and... Bromley and Risley have got a lot of work to do there at the back. Toby Sutherland running a good race. Renshaw dissatisfied with the pace. He goes to the front, 300 metres remaining. Kareen from Samara is with him. Then it's back to Sutherland, Khan, Risley and Bromley a long way back. Kibet is done. The Kenyan is finished after leading them through the first time. Renshaw at 200 to go. Alongside Kareen from Samoa, then Sutherland, Khan, Risley and Bromley's miles back. Nick Bromley's got a massive task here if he's to get up for his fourth consecutive title. It's almost impossible. Renshaw's in front, goes for home, looks the winner. Can he get an A qualifier and confirm his spot on the Olympic team? He's in front of Kareen, who's starting to struggle, then Sutherland, and flying home. Bromley when it's all too late, but Renshaw's going to win. He's going to win his first national title. He hits the line and takes it out ahead of Kareen. Bromley flying home for third, but it wasn't enough. There's the national champion, Lachlan Renshaw. Lachlan Renshaw's been in sparkling form. He moves past Cabet. And look at the uh, the ground Nick Bromley had to make up his last. But at this point, Lachlan Renshaw had the final at his disposal. Well, too much ground to make up for Nick Bromley. You can't give a man who's run as fast as Lachlan Renshaw this season a 25-metre head start, 145.79. It's the fastest we've seen by an Australian since 2001. And he came into the straight, Lachlan Renshaw. He was chasing the A qualifying time. He's going to be outside that. So he's not going to earn automatic selection. He had a little glance. Bromley was flying, flying home, but that camera, camera angle shortens the distance. He was a long way back. Renshaw wins and takes the national title for 2008.